if for x times e to the power x and y equal to y plus 5 times sine square x, then find the value of y prime of 0. First find the derivative and then substitute x equal to 0 to get the derivative of y rest, uh, at x equal to 0. Here is the function. Take derivative, derivative on the left, derivative on the right. Derivative on the left for constant out then you have the derivative of this. This is a product of two functions. One function is x, second function e to the power xy. Let's, let, uh, to get the derivative of a product of two function, we apply the product rule. The derivative of this is one times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. The derivative of a second function will be this one times the derivative of that, which is the product of two function. The derivative of this is one derivative of y plus the first function times the derivative of the second function dy dx. Now do the do the, take the derivative here. Derivative of sum is sum of derivative. Derivative of y is dy dx. Derivative of this is phi comes out and then two comes down. Uh, sine x times the derivative of uh, sine x is cos x. Apply the uh, chain rule. Now we need to collect all the dy dx. So there's one piece here and then there is a second. This piece has uh, four x square e to the power xy minus one here so this one handle the dy dx now let's go for here five times two is ten sine x cos x minus this whole piece will be one piece here times the second piece here which is that now uh, divide both sides by this this is gone and then you'll be the right hand side divided by the by this piece now let us evaluate uh, dy dx at x equals zero Notice where we put x equal to 0, not good enough. We still have to have, when x equals 0, y is y. We need that y value. Huh? There's a relationship between x and y. So let us find when x equals 0, you get the equation. When x is equal to 0, put x equals 0 here. 0 here, 0 there, and then sine 0 is 0, and then you get y. So when x equals 0, y equals 0. So now you have enough information to plug in for the derivative at x equals 0 and y also equals 0 as we, we saw here, okay? Plug those things here and then you get the dy dx at x equals 0, y equals 0. At x or y is 0, plug x, uh, plug x equals 0 and y equals 0. And then I will let you guys do that. This is simple, 0. This is simple, 0. e to the power of 0 is 1, negative 4. And then this is uh, 0, you have negative 1. Negative 4, you are by negative 1, will be 4. Done. Thank you for watching. Hope video is informative and helpful. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to hit or smash the like button. See you.